Hello everybody and welcome back to the trail. This is Derek Partridge, your Northern Nevada Realtor, and today I'm at White's Creek. This is a really great trail. It actually goes into the Mount Rose Wilderness, like many other trails around Reno. However, this one has a spot. White's Creek Park is in a neighborhood just off of Telluride Drive, which is off of Mount Rose Highway. So you can access it there, and it's about two miles until you get to the pine trees like you see here behind me. Or you can go head up straight to Timberline Drive, and you can park there and head up the Forest Service Road to the trail. And this is really great because you can ride your bike up to the wilderness boundary, and you can ride it back down, and it's a really nice ride. And then there's a separate trail for horses, and then along certain parts of it, there's actually even a separate trail for hikers that goes right along the creek. So it's a really cool spot. And it actually does connect to the Galena network of trails as well. So that's really cool. You could do a whole nine mile loop, make a full day out of it. So make sure to come out and check it out. If you stick around to the end, I have a nice little moment of nature for you. There's lots of birds here. So if you're a birder, this is a great spot to just hang out and watch the chickadees, the blue, the mountain blue jays, and many others. So uh, anyway, this week I wanted to chat with you just a little bit about earnest money deposits, the EMD. So maybe if you've, if you've bought a house before or sold, you know what this is. Uh, but let me give you a little refresher. This is the buyer's good faith deposit when they're going to make an offer and get into contract on a property. So it's typically around 1% of the purchase price, and but it could be ratcheted up to 3% or more depending on how serious the buyer is, if there's competition, and things like that. How it works is it really is a good faith deposit that is held by the escrow company or the title company during the time when the buyer's doing their due diligence and before the property closes. But that money is applied to your down payment and closing costs at the end. So it's not lost money. And as long as you don't back out of the contract for no good reason, you get that money back as well. For example, if you find something in the home inspection or that it doesn't appraise for the value that you had agreed upon with the seller, you can still get out of the contract and receive that money back. Anyway, I hope that was really helpful for you guys. I really look forward to seeing you next week out here on the trail. And in the meantime, remember near or far, if you've got real estate questions, I've got answers. So I'll see you next week right here out on the trail. Have a great week and stay healthy and safe.